my fellow Redlanders. For more than 130 years, our city has been distinguished by its sense of community, our desire to draw together in times of celebration, in times of sorrow, and in times of need. During this time of pandemic and economic hardship, we need each other more than ever. As neighbors struggle through illness from coronavirus, the loss of a job, or even the loss of a loved one, and local businesses search for ways to keep their doors open, we need to draw on that tradition of support for each other. Whether it's supporting businesses with programs like Shop It Forward, or helping our local restaurants with the new outdoor dining State Street Promenade, we are all in this together. Recently, a small team, a city employee, a couple of local entrepreneurs, created the Redland Strong Campaign to provide support to our local businesses and encouragement to our residents. We sat down with them recently to talk about the Redland Strong Campaign. I'd like you to hear from them. Well, I'm a Redlands native. I was born here. I was raised here. I have a lot of pride in the city. Um, as you know, I work for the Redlands Police Department. I'm a proud member of the Redlands Police Officers Association. And when I saw the pandemic hit, I saw the negative effects I mean, right away, you know, and in our line of work, we deal with a lot of critical incidents. And one thing you learn right away is that you can't deal with those or overcome them on your own. So I wanted to do something where you know, we could bring the community together, uh, we could have a common goal, and you know, Redlands is a very proud community and I knew we weren't gonna stick our head in the sand in this type of deal. So I immediately called Donnie. Donnie and I do a ton of community work together. We coach softball together, we volunteer. So we talked about it, we threw the idea around and the Redlands Strong Movement was born at that time. After Donnie and I talked, you know, we, we came up with this idea and we immediately knew that we wanted to, you know, attempt to do some sort of t-shirt Obviously, we're gonna go straight to Jam. They've been around for 40 years. We've worked with them forever. I've known Bree forever. Uh, so we got with her and she had some really, really good ideas on how to use it to stimulate the local economy, which was a great idea by her. And she came up with a business plan and Donnie came up with the design that you see right here. And you know, it just, it took off from there. I immediately reached out to um, a handful of businesses that are longtime customers of ours anyway that we have a good relationship with and ask them to get on board and they were all in. Whichever store you purchase your shirt from, you're directly supporting. It has grown into about 60 businesses and organizations selling and profiting from the sale of these shirts. The fire department jumped on board immediately. Donnie's brothers of a fireman in this town and um, they purchased them for their uniform shirts immediately for the whole department to wear. And then um, Redlands Community Hospital has been a huge supporter. They jumped on board. They have them for sale in their gift shop. And then a bunch of different departments were ordering custom shirts with the Redlands Community Hospital logo on the front and then Redlands Strong and then their department name below it on the back. And so I heard if you walk through the hospital, you'll see tons of them. Well, I'm a local tattoo artist. Uh, Will and I got together. He came up with the idea to create something for the community. Um, we came up with a few generic designs with basic font basic font pattern that you see with Boston Strong or something like that but we wanted to create something for the community that um, not only you would want to buy it to support the community but you would actually want to wear it you know with not just to support something or during a pandemic but a comfortable shirt with a cool design that represents your community so we went with a vintage sign look something that you would see on State Street you know so people could really get behind it and uh, I think, it, I think it really just represents Redlands. And hopefully it would create something that we might sell a couple hundred, maybe a thousand shirts, you know. And uh, it released and it just went crazy. It's bigger than any of us had, have expected, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that we were completely shocked at the initial response because just because Redlands is such a proud city, the design was great. Bree did a great job, you know, so, but I mean, to be at selling, you know, 7,500 shirts and having 60 businesses, it's, it's beyond our wildest dreams. It really represents what Redlands is about, you know, what we had thought it would be. You know, you had hoped for it. Redlands, I don't think you could do this with another city. You know, like um, Redlands really likes to get behind the community endeavors and I think this is a good example of that. So as soon as we saw the negative effects of the lockdown and we knew all the local businesses were going to be struggling, we did this immediately. That was our idea. The reason we did this for the small businesses, like, like Will said, we do a lot of community outreach stuff. We do a lot of, we do uh, softball coaching for the local RBY organization and we're going to them twice a year asking for donations, asking to sponsor our teams. And a lot of these businesses in Redlands write a check without even thinking twice. So 
when times are good, they do that for us. And when times are bad, we wanted to step up and help them out. And I think, you know, you can see that places like Savarino's, Jam, Nick's Burgers, they're the backbone of our community. You know, we need them uh, just like they need us. And, you know, it's uh, Redlands, the city of Redlands is like a big family. And, you know, they were struggling, so we just wanted to do everything we could to help them out. So everybody here at the Redlands Strong Campaign would like to thank the community of Redlands for really getting on board to help support these small businesses. I don't even know if you guys know how much you've helped a lot of these businesses. A lot of these businesses were able to keep employees on board because of your purchase of these shirts. So us three would like to thank everybody that bought a shirt that helped out this, this uh, campaign. On behalf of the city council and the entire community, I'd like to commend Will, Donnie and Bree for their positive message, for helping our local businesses thrive and for continuing the Redlands tradition of supporting and lifting up one another. This is a unique and challenging time for all of us, but we will get through this together by staying united, by looking out for one another, by caring for one another, we will remain always Redlands strong.